good morning. I'm on my way to a commercial building in Inwood for a no cooling on a rooftop unit. Uh, never been there before. I just spoke with the guy, the owner of the place on the phone, and they have four rooftop units. One of them is not cooling. So hopefully I get some good footage. Okay, so I just went in, went to the thermostat, and they said that they hear it come on sometimes, and then it comes off. The thermostat was locked, but I unlocked it. It was set to 75 degrees in cooling, and room temperature was reading 75 degrees. So I went to check the unit, make sure it's cooling, make sure nothing weird's going on. It's up on the roof, so I have to get the big ladder out. Okay, so I just went up and down a couple times to confirm which unit it was. And I'll go see what the issue is, if there is an issue. It's the ladder. Got it strapped up to a window, there was nowhere to strap it up top. There is our unit, one in the middle. Now you can see, this to me looks like oil residue. Looks to have oil residue all over here as well. Uh, I'm gonna let it run for a little bit. Let's see, our 410, I'll get my 410 gauges and see what's going on. Okay, so I got my gauges hooked up and definitely low, or likely low. I'm gonna check the filters before I do anything, but 67 degrees of superheat is nuts. Maybe, maybe the filters are plugged. No, they're almost new. The guy did say they were just replaced. So, amazing trap. The uh, pressures, I mean, it's definitely low, but it also seems a little odd to me how high the high side is. But it's about, how many degrees is outside? It's 66 degrees outside. And our coil is also baking in direct sunlight, so I'm taking it that that's normal. I'm not really, I don't really see pressure that high when the low side pressure is this low. So I'm actually going to give Mike a call and see what he has to say about it. Because it just seems odd to me, the negative sub cooling. But that's, I think, because I had the door open and air was flowing through there. So I got the hose out. The coil to me looks clean, but Mike said that it's probably dirty and it has never been cleaned, so it definitely is dirty. Um, yeah, so I have a hose run down that way. Now I have to go inside and see where I can get water from. He told me through one of the windows there should be a water main somewhere. Okay, so I'm back on the roof. Water is not easily accessible, but he has six different rooftop units up here. And what I'm going to be doing is charging this unit, even though the pressure on the high side is pretty high. Um, and then we'll come back another day. We'll check all these units out. We'll clean them all. And he may choose to sign up for a service agreement with us and he may choose not to but it looks like we're going to schedule another time so that we could service every single unit up here and I guess we'll probably save a little bit of more money doing that way but I'm going to get to charging this unit up and taking it from there okay so I have my refrigerant on the scale LE tech scale zeroed out. 
my hoses are purged and we don't have any set um, sub cooling but it's a TXV so I'm gonna stick with Mikey Pipes well Mikey Pipes has it around 10 degrees I'll start with about half a pound because this unit only takes five pounds Point two seven, point three, point four, point five. Just shy of point five. Our pressures, our sub cooling is now going back to a regular number instead of negative one. Oh, it's staying around negative one. But our Suction line is going up a tiny bit. We go with another half pound. The customer has had uh, refrigerant add to this system before. He doesn't know when. Um, let's see, just shy of a pound. Actually, exactly a pound. Where we're at. Let that balance out for a little bit and see what happens. Okay, so with just shy of two pounds so far, we're at 27 degrees. We have 8.4, 8.3, 0.2, bouncing around a little bit on subcooling. Um, gonna give it a little bit more because it's pretty much leveled out at about there. And see how it goes. Okay, so we're pretty bouncy with the numbers, but they're staying at around 11 to 12 for subcooling right now. Um, and our evaporator coil is above freezing temperature. Uh, it's very, very high head pressure, so I think this coil definitely needs cleaning. So here's about where our pressures are hovering. The subcooling is pretty high, but it goes a little bit lower and a little bit higher. It's fluctuating a lot. Um, the unit is cooling currently, uh, added about two and a half pounds. Uh, the subcooling chart says that it's calling for around 16 degrees of subcooling. It's on here, I don't want to pull it off because then I don't have airflow. But I think we're looking good where we are. The high side pressure is still really high, but if the coil gets a cleaning, I'm sure that'll come down. Okay, so I got the unit all buttoned up, wrapping up now. Ooh, uh, alcohol bottle. And I'll set the thermostat to what the customer chooses to leave it set at. Fill out the invoice, and that'll be it for here for today, but I'm sure I'll be back to check out everything else. So I finished up that um, the customer is very nice and it looks like we'll probably be working with them more in the future I am stopping now at a supply house starting walking directions to Franklin around the corner from where I'm currently and then I'll be stopping by at a pool heater install that I'm not sure who did it but they needed a few parts so be installing those, I think. But that's gonna be it for today's video. I did a few other maintenances, but it wasn't worth recording. Um, if you like the video, like it. If you have any criticisms or any input on those pressures, uh, please leave it in the comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I just went up and down a couple times to confirm which unit it was. And I'll go see what the issue is, if there is an issue. It's the ladder. Got it strapped up to a window. There was nowhere to strap it up top. Right there. There is our unit. 
one in the middle. Now you can see, this to me looks like oil residue. Looks to have oil residue all over here as well. Uh, I'm gonna let it run for a little bit. Let's see, R410, I'll get my 410 gauges and see what's going on.